What to do, Internet? David Baugh here, and today we are skis into the max, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a crazy day already, but we're gonna get into it. Let's let's get going. Oh, as long as it looks good for the internet. Yeah, it has been that kind of day today, ladies and gentlemen. It's been ridiculous. Let's just say that it's been. Uh, one thing after another already. I got woken up pretty early today. I guess the apartment complex is um, being awful some more. So first they told us the rent was 914 in writing, uh, you know. Then they said it was 933 or 1033. Then it was 1077. Then it was some other number. Then they charged us twice for rent. Um, originally on the thing so we couldn't pay it on time now they're saying that we have all these late fees that we have to pay um which they're charging us it's 10 percent of the rent is um the law here in texas so they're charging us well beyond that um they're charging us 17 or as, as if it was 1791 I think we had a late fee of $179, they're saying. Uh, we have in writing where they said the rent was $914, and it has never been that number since. Uh, and then we've got confirmation. We finally got it all worked out with them. We paid the $914 yesterday. Now they're saying, oh, well, if you don't pay rent twice this month, then uh, we're going to change the locks on you. So that's been kind of crazy. And then the dogs ran away. So... That was the whole thing. We had to spend quite a little bit of time looking for them. Uh, we finally found them several blocks away. Um, and then Scarlett's been screaming all day. So... Here we are. Here we are. It's been that kind of day today. Uh, I'm gonna have to break down the desk. We're trying to get the most expensive stuff that we have out. Um, I mean... I don't ex know how they expect us to pay double the rent. And not even double the rent, it's not even double the 914 that was agreed upon, it's double the 1033 or whatever. Uh, and there's two charges for everything. And we showed them screenshots, they said we don't care what your screenshots say. They say we don't care what we said on a recorded line, this is what we're doing right now, is that you need to pay this money or uh, you need to get out. So it's like, okay, you know, we were fairly close. A lot of the stuff that's still uh, like we got the TV out, we've got uh, all the guitars are out, we've got you know even the bed is is in the RV already. Um, the couches we're we're just getting rid of; they're in kind of bad shape already, so that's gonna be gone. And then it's just a bunch of odds and ends from there. I've got to get this desk broken down. Um, I got to get all the camera equipment and gear out of here. Um, you know so there's just a whole mountain of stuff to do we were supposed to have until the end of the month um, they're just doing everything in their power not to be able to give us the 30 days notice I don't know why we were paid up prior to that but um, yeah it's just been it's just been that kind of day today ladies and gentlemen and uh, it looks like it's probably going to get worse we definitely need to talk to a lawyer about all of the things that have been going on here. Uh, we've been left without heat for over a month now. Um, they keep telling us that we never submitted anything. We, we've shown them like, hey, here's screenshots of our screen. When we when we put in the, the work order, here's a month later when it still wasn't addressed in your portal. Um, they said that there's nothing there, that it was never put in there, but it's like, it's, it's right there. So, you know. So there's been no heat. They're definitely in breach of contract. Uh, they were supposed to give us 30 days notice in writing uh, before the end of the lease date. They notified us on the second of the month, uh, this month. And then they've been doing everything that they can to get us out. They've been telling us we need to leave. They said we have until February. Now they're trying to charge us until February all at once. Which we're not staying here that long anyway. We're trying to get out anyway, but it's just the worst apartment complex I've ever seen or dealt with. 
Um, I mean, it's, Lacey's been handling most of that because her name's on the contracts and stuff. I, I just got out of, of that place, and this place is basically inha uninhabitable. There's no heat. Uh, there was snow on the ground, and there's no heat. So, we gotta do something about that. It's been, um, it's been that kind of day. Was, you know, we're almost done, so we're gonna look onward and upward, but I have a mountain of things that I have to get done today if we're gonna make this in time, and we've got a whole great deal of stuff to both get rid of, uh, rehome if we can, and, uh, we gotta get the, the stuff set up in the RV. They did at least deliver the internet, so we've got that. Um, so we should be able to make this happen, but... God damn, don't ever, ever do business with Hunter's Chase. They are just the worst... They are the worst apartment complex I've ever seen. They're just not even reasonable, you know? It's like, you are forcing us not to be able to pay on time, you know? And then when we finally made arrangements and we did pay, now they're saying, oh, well, you didn't pay double all of that. So, you know, double all of that and then some. It's like, you said in writing multiple times that it was 914. <sighs> Just gonna get me more upset. But that's all I had for you guys today. It was a pleasure as always, and you have a wonderful evening.